Welcome to Weird Will Wednesday. This is the Great Stork Derby. <music> Charles Vance Miller, this guy, was a Canadian lawyer in the late 1800s. He liked a good joke. So story is he did stuff like drop dollars on the sidewalks and then hide and see who picked them up. So in his will, he left some interesting provisions. He gave some shares in a brewery to people who hated alcohol and some shares in a gambling club to people who hated gambling. He also left a house to three guys who hated each other and made it a rule that they all had to own it together. The craziest thing, though, was that he left about $9 million to whatever woman would have the most babies during the 10 years after his death. And thus began the Great Stork Derby. Ontario tried to get the will thrown out, but the public was not having any of that. The Great Depression was in full swing and people wanted that money. Ten years after Charles' death, 32 lawyers show up to try to win the millions for their clients. The judge kicks everyone out who has less than nine kids, leaving six mothers. One mother with ten kids was disqualified from the race by a judge who decided that five of her kids didn't count because she wasn't married to their father. Another mother was disqualified for having three stillborn babies, one named after Charles himself, and one baby who died from rat bite. Eventually, four different mothers split the prize money, each getting about $2 million in today's money. One of the mothers, Lucy Timlick, later told a reporter that she thought birth control was a wonderful thing. And there you have it, the Great Stork Derby. Drop your questions below and like this video and follow my channel for more legal info.